Survival of the fittest, the best evolved creature suited to their own environment will be the ones to win and thrive. Nature's own hunger games, evolution and whatever the previous generations had that survived in their genes will be passed on to the next generations over a long period of time. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, evolution is defined as the cumulative inherited change in a population of organisms through time leading to the appearance of new forms. It is also defined as the process by which new species or populations of living things develop from pre-existing forms through successive generations. The Australopithecines are the longest lived and the most well-known early human species dating back between 3.85 and 2.95 million years ago. These species had survived for more than 900,000 years, which is almost four times as long as their own species has been around. Australopithecines had the physical traits of both humans and apes. They had face proportions that resembled an ape, like the flat nose, strongly projecting lower jaw, a brain that was one third the size of a modern human's brain, and long but strong arms that had curved fingers to adapt to climbing trees. As for human proportions, they had small canine teeth and a body that stood up on two legs, and they regularly walked on both legs only. Because Australopithecines had features that adapted to their environment, they were able to live for almost a million years, living in both the trees and on the ground. Next would be the Homo habilis, literally meaning handyman, which lived from 1.4 to 2.4 million years ago. They were called that because it was believed that they were the first species to make stone tools. The oldest stone tools found, however, were estimated to be slightly older than the evidenced Homo habilis. Their remains were found in the east and south of Africa. The Homo habilis had a slightly larger brain, as well as a smaller face and set of teeth than the Australopithecus had. The Homo habilis still had ape-like features such as long arms and a moderately prognathic face. The Homo erectus are the oldest known early species to have modern human-like body proportions with elongated legs and shorter arms compared to the size of the torso. Because of their body structure, it indicates that they had adapted to only living on the ground. They also adapted to walk properly and possibly the ability to run long distances. The Homo erectus had tall bodies and large brains, and so they needed more energy on a daily basis for them to function. To be able to get this energy faster, eating meat and other types of protein was one of the best solutions because it could be quickly digested, making it more possible to absorb nutrients with a shorter digestive tract. It had the creation of large cutting tools like hand axes and cleavers. The Homo erectus heavily relied on these innovative tools to survive the changing climates they had. Not only did the Homo erectus have useful tools and adaptive features, they were the earliest to have hearts, most commonly known as campfires. Evidence shows that the use of hearts were in the time range of the Homo erectus. They would, of course, use it for cooking food. It was also used as a place for social interaction, warmth, and a way to keep away large predators. Cultural and social-political evolution are series of social and cultural evolution that describes culture and society's change over time. A long time ago, during the Paleolithic Age, which lasted from the beginning of human life to around 10,000 BC, people were nomads. People lived in groups of 20 to 30 and spent most of their time hunting and gathering and work was divided in this age. Men hunted for food while the women gathered fruits and berries and this was how human beings lived for a few thousand years until the Neolithic Revolution happened. The Neolithic Revolution was when the people started to cultivate crops and domesticate animals. This event was a fundamental change in the way people lived. The shift from hunting and gathering agriculture led to permanent settlements, the establishment of social classes, and the eventual rise of civilizations. The efficiency in food production allowed more time to develop art and sciences through specialized activities geared towards the advancement of civilization. This development led to more inventions of farm implements and tools that ensure agricultural productivity. Moreover, more time in pursuit for art and religion led to the building of elaborate temples and granaries, many of them still standing today which highly suggests the amount of human labor 
invested to accomplish great projects in the service of God and humanity. More than a change of subsistence, the Neolithic Revolution also resulted to a change in human attitude towards the natural environment. Since they are now capable of producing food, they have also started to create tools using the available resources around them. People started cutting down trees to pave way for abodes and cleared forested areas for settlements which eventually led to the building of communities as the population of humans increased and led to the rise of cities. If you noticed, as the years progressed, so did the human species. Humans had bigger brains and their bodies adapted to the environment. At one point, humans could live in the trees and the ground, but we degraded by only living on the ground. As an exchange, humans were more intelligent and made stone tools to make their lives easier. But surviving doesn't get easier if you try to live independently. It was more preferred to live in groups so as to divide people into for hunting and gathering. It then grew to cultivating crops and domesticating animals. The humans advanced to make arts and sciences, thus increasing the community and its people's wealth and class, which also eventually led to the development of a political hierarchy. If it weren't for these progressions of evolution, we would still have been living a life wherein having food is not as simple as going to the store to buy some. There would be no such thing as buildings and houses that could provide efficient shelters as well as no transportations. Because of evolution, humans have grown to be more intelligent, and because of our intelligence, we learn to invent and innovate new things that help advance the communities and create a better and easier life in the present.